greet them at the closing, okay? And I know that Mary had done something wrong to me, for example, for example. <laughs> and I extended my hand and said, I want to apply the message of the pastor, I want to forgive. Okay, come here, Lord, ah. And God bless you, sister. And then, deep within your soul of soul, I forgive you. <laughs> I forgive you. I forgive you. And then the sister will say, what did I do? It will create another world for three or four. Ganun na lang. God bless you. Mahina na lang. Mahina. Right? Amen. Amen. So, the point of the matter is we have God's forgiveness. We pass the baton to them. If they did not reciprocate our asking of forgiveness towards us, it's between them and God. I am pleading God because of I have forgiven and followed the word. Last list this. Amen. I <laughs> When I raise my fears to God, I am free to know His happiness. When I renew my faith in God, but then my future is secure in hope. Amen. Thirdly, when I receive God's forgiveness, my past is reconciled in His saving. Lastly, when I rebuild my friendship, then they are able to experience what? The Spirit's harmony. Philippians chapter 2, verse 1 in your notes, Christ encourages you. It is love comforts you. God's Spirit unites you and you are more you are concerned for others. Now make me completely happy. Are you ready for this? You want to be an answered prayer to Jesus? Don't lose this. Sabi niya, live in harmony by showing love for each other. I've been a minister for a long time and I, I am forever grateful. If the Lord will take me, take me some time, Lord, not now. I'm a happy gentleman. You know, I, I, I have preached and sermons. It's always a privilege. But take note that the growth of the church is in the hands of the people in the church. The pastor can only say so much. The pastor can only do so much. But it is the church of Jesus Christ that will definitely make a difference. When Jesus said it, it is for Zabinian, love one another. Because of your love, the world will know that you belong to and whatever spirit is out there, shine it out, blot it out, don't even listen to it. Spirit of divisiveness, spirit of complaint, spirit of gossip, spirit of too much opinion but never contributes. I, I, I know people like that. I've been in a ministry for long. They will come to me and say, not in this church. This is, this looks like a perfect church. Okay. I'm perfect. Is it perfectly silent? <laughs> <laughs> okay. And I have many churches, and God bless them, they're not with me anymore. They will say, Pastor, they have to do this, and do that, and do this, and do that, and do that. Amen, amen, amen. But I said, are you willing to help me do that? Pastor, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot. But please do it, do it, do it. I cannot do it alone. You see, from any suggestion that you have, from any concerns that you have in the church, you should put your six cents on it. You should put your, your wallet where your mouth is. Are you with me? You should put your commitment on it. So we want to have a, a good Sunday school. Then commit. Ang hirap naman the pastor is preaching while doing the Sunday school. Ang hirap naman. I cannot be in two places at one time. Among Filipinos, wala tayo mga mananandal Christian. Yung nahahati ang katawan. Yung sa nagpe preach yung iba naman yun. Are you with me? I hope you catch that. When you make a suggestion, pray about it. Lord, is this godly? Is this God directed? And if I'm going to make a suggestion, count me in. Because we have many people in the churches today, lots of suggestions, that when the rubber meets the road, they cannot be found. Let's have a Bible study. Open the Bible study. Bible study. You cannot say, let's have a Bible study, only if I'm available. Because you can be raptured any time. Yeah. Are you with me, brothers and sisters? That when we will make a suggestion because we care for the church here at Milton, we are saying, per se, come me in. I gotta spearhead that. I gotta be part of it. I gotta just now, I gotta be actions too. And that is where the harmony of the body of Christ come together. You see, this is what it's all about. Romans 15 verse 5, May God who gives this patience and encouragement help you live in what? 
complete harmony with each other. Each with the attitude of Christ Jesus toward the other. We need to remind ourselves with this. In closing, say Amen. 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 Magigising lang yung katabi nyo. Amen. Billy Graham had told about this story about an Eskimo fisherman through story in Antarctica. And this fisherman always goes to the downtown, to the city, with his two dogs. The one dog is black, the other dog is white. The black dog we call Blackie. I say it. The white dog we call but the thing about these two dogs is these dogs are trained by his command to fight and bite each other. The white and the black will fight. Because this fisherman is so smart. He will go to the, uh, to the center of the town and he will ask bets of who, what dog will win that day. And every time, the Eskimo fisherman knows which dog to win. The first Sunday, he will say, okay, put your bets, what dog will win today? They will say black. And the fisherman will say white. And then they're going to they're gonna fight. And then the white dog always wins, which means the fisherman always knew what dog will win. The black or the white? You want to find out the secret of why he knew which dog always wins? Come back next Sunday, I'll tell you. <laughs> he said, every time I feed the white dog, definitely it will always swim. Every time I feed the black dog, I know that he will always swim. Imagine a dog that's not being fed throughout the days and throughout the week. He cannot even bite. And the fisherman knew which dog will win. And he gained lots of money. Pastor, how does it relate in Christian living? Are you ready for this? Don't call yourself black and white. Okay. <laughs> he says, as husband and wife, Oh, you're like black. Oh, you're black. I'm eating a moody. I'm not going to be a Christian. I'm not going to be Sometimes I get in trouble, sister. Sometimes in the Bible study where there are fights among husband and wife, the wife who is fighting the husband will quote me. The pastor said, be nice to me. He has said that. And then he will quote verses. And even I myself never said that. I was in trouble. Because the husband would say, Pastor, you heard you say that to my wife? And I cannot put him there. Don't quote, don't quote the pastor. The point of the matter, brothers and sisters, is this. In Christ, we have two natures. The pure, the white, and the flesh, and the evil. Whatever you have fed throughout this week, for next Sunday, always win. Feed the new self in Christ and starve and kill the old flesh of this world. And by God's help and by God's grace, I can't deny that the white in us, the pure in us, the Christ in us will always win to battle the sinful nature that still creeps in us. There is hope in the Lord. Because those who put their hope in the Lord, they will renew their strength. And they will be blessed because they have lived what God desires for all of us. Sounds fair? Let's pray. Heavenly Father, as we come to you and we bless you, I thank you for the opportunity of sharing these words, O oh Lord, to my brothers and sisters here at Milton. I pray that you have prepared their hearts as good soil. Lord, we pray that the love of God in us towards one another will spread like a wildfire so that the people that is around us will see the love of Christ, O oh Lord, in our church. As ever as our mom and ever as our close, come to the Lord right now. Is there any fear that you are still holding on that God is saying to you, release it to me? To some of you, you need to renew your faith. You need to try it in your faith. You need to try it in your relationship. And to some, you need healing and you need harmony. I have good news for you. As Christians, we have been given by God every day. Just like in the book of Lamentation with this words, Great is thy faithfulness. 
They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. When we are in the Lord, brothers and sisters, there are everyday opportunity for all of us. And my prayer is that the Lord will find us all faithful in serving Him. Life is short. Heaven is forever. Live for God. Find us faithful until He comes. In Jesus' name we pray and all God's people say, Amen. 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 Let's give the Lord a clap offering. Yes, Lord. Amen.